assalamu alaikum friends uh, today we will talk about the dna sequencing so dna sequencing is a process of identifying the order of the nucleotides present in a dna sequence and uh, in this process actually we find out the uh, exact order of the four nucleotides that are present in the dna sequence so what are the steps involved in the dna sequencing so the first step is the sample preparation uh, first we will isolate the desired dna from the plant animal or either environmental sources if we want to get the high quality dna so we can use the proteinase k or the spine a column dna extraction method so once we uh, get the desired dna then in the second step uh, using pcr machine we will do the amplification of the target sequence we will add the desired dna to the pcr machine and uh, we will make the several copies of that dna then after this uh, we will do the purification of the dna third step is the amplicon purification and amplicon is the pcr product so why we need to purify the amplicon because uh, there will be unbound primers present there will be primer dimers uh, and uh, there will be unused talk dna polymerase enzyme there will be also uh, unused dna templates and there will be buffer components so if uh, uh, we not remove these ingredients so these ingredients can affect the dna sequencing that's why implicon purification is required uh, primer dimers means when two primer attach with each other so they form primer dimers Fourth step is the sequencing pre-preparation step. In this step, we use the adapter DNA, and uh, that uh, adapter DNA sequences are attached to the uh, desired DNA strand. This green color show as the desired DNA strand, and uh, uh, this area show as the adapter DNA. To the adapter DNA, primer will be attached, and with the help of polymerase enzyme, further elongation of the DNA strand will occur. So this is the uh, sequencing pre preparation step. So the fifth step is the DNA sequencing step. Here in this uh, step, the DNA polymerase enzyme and uh, other uh, important ingredients are added to the uh, reaction tubes and uh, that reaction tubes are placed in the uh, sequencer machine. So the sequencer machine will perform uh, the denaturing, in kneading and extension of the DNA at a time. So uh, here we have a double strand DNA. Uh, during denaturing, we will get the two separated uh, strands of the uh, DNA and in the annealing process, uh, we will uh, add the primers to the uh, single strand of DNA. Uh, after this, in the extension process, uh, using uh, polymerase, uh, DNA polymerase enzyme, uh, further nucleotide will be added and uh, DNA elongation will occur. So the nucleotides uh, we are using in this process are either radio or fluorescent labeled. So when uh, these nucleotides attach to the DNA sequence, so th uh, these uh, nucleotides produce uh, a fluorescent uh, signals and uh, dead signals are sent to computer. Uh, the sixth uh, step is the DNA analysis. So once we perform the old DNA sequencing, uh, then uh, dead DNA sequencing is compared with the already uh, present data in the software. So this will help uh, us to point out if there is any variation in the desired DNA or, in, uh, or uh, there is any mutation in the desired DNA. So we can point out. Uh, different methods are used for DNA sequencing. The first method is the Maxim and Gilbert method. The second method is the chain termination method and the third method is the semi-automated method. The fourth method is the automated method and the PEP method is the uh, pyro sequencing method. So here we will discuss the Singer uh, method which is also called the chain termination method. Uh, in this method first we will take the desired uh, DNA fragment then using PCR machine we will do amplification of the desired DNA fragment and we will get the several copies of the desired DNA. Then in the second step we will take four tubes tube 1, 2, 3 and 4 uh, to the each uh, tube we will add uh, the equal amount of DNA and uh, we will also add the equal amount of primers, equal amount of polymerase enzyme and equal amount of the uh, deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate to the each tube. Uh, deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate uh, are the uh, nucleotides like uh, adenine, guanine, cytosine and uh, thymine. And uh, along with uh, these nucleotides, we will also add 
the modified uh, uh, nucleotides which is called the ddoxy uh, ribonucleotide triphosphate so what is the difference between normal nucleotides and the ddoxy uh, ribonucleotide triphosphate so in the normal uh, nucleotide we have hydroxyl group at three position but in the modified uh, nucleotide we, we have hydrogen group at the three position so if the normal uh, nucleotide is attached so further elongation will occur because this hydroxyl group is important for the further attachment of the nucleotides but in the case of the modified uh, uh, but in the case of uh, modified nucleotides if this nucleotide is attached so no elongation will be occur and the chain will be terminated so this process is called chain termination process so why there will be chain termination because there is no hydroxyl group and we know that hydroxyl group is important for further bonding for further uh, nucleotide attachment so here in this um, uh, process uh, when we do a uh, sequencing so when uh, the modified uh, ddoxy uh, ribonucleotide triphosphate is attached so mm, further elongation will be stopped suppose this is uh, the desired dna uh, template which contain the guanine uh, cytosine thymine and the guanine guanine adenine and cytosine actually it is a, a dna sequence and we have to find out the exact order of these uh, nucleotides so how we will find uh, in the case of tube one let's see uh, we have uh, all the normal nucleotides but we also have the ddoxy guanine triphosphate so what will happen when uh, this uh, ddoxy guanine triphosphate is attached to the cytosine in the dna chain so the further elongation will be stopped so what will happen in the tube uh, first uh, in the first step uh, there will be uh, the attachment of this normal cytosine to the guanine then uh, the modified uh, guanine will be attached to the cytosine and uh, further elongation will be stopped so we will get a short DNA sequence like here you can see C and G cytosine and guanine but guanine is the uh, ddoxy uh, guanine triphosphate it is modified uh, guanine so further elongation will be stopped because uh, this guanine because this guanine don't have hydroxyl group so that's why chain will be terminate so we will get a short sequence we have the possibility of the uh, second uh, sequence which will be like this uh, here to the G normal uh, cytosine will be attached uh, to the C normal uh, guanine will be attached to the T normal uh, adenine will be attached to the G normal uh, cytosine will be attached and to the G here also normal cytosine will be attached and to the A thymine will be attached but to the C there will be attachment of the uh, DD um, guanine triphosphate so we know that uh, DD guanine triphosphate uh, will stop the ch uh, chain further no elongation will occur so we will get the another sequence and this sequence is like this in the tube 2 we have the ddoxy cytosine triphosphate which is the modified cytosine so what will happen in this tube in this tube uh, we have modified uh, cytosine so uh, to the first g there will be attachment of the modified cytosine so further no elongation will occur and we will get uh, a short sequence and that will be C uh, the second sequence the second sequence we will get uh, like this uh, to the G normal cytosine will be attached to the C normal guanine will be attached to the T normal uh, adenine will be attached but to the G there will be attachment of the modified cytosine so in the modified cytosine attached further no elongation will be occur and we will get this short uh, DNA sequence and uh, there is third possibility uh, here normal nucleotide will be added here also normal nucleotide will be added here also normal nucleotide here also normal nucleotide will be added but uh, to the G there will be attachment of the modified cytosine so we will get the uh, pionucleotides sequence so in the third tube we have the modified uh, ddoxy thymine triphosphate so let's see what will happen in this tube in the third tube uh, there will be attachment of the normal cytosine here there will be normal attachment of the guanine normal attachment of the adenine normal attachment of the cytosine normal attachment of the cytosine but to the a there will be attachment of the normal 
there will be attachment of the modified timing because in the tube 3 we have modified timing so when the modified timing is attached we will get the six uh, nucleotide uh, sequence and further no elongation will be occur and in the pore tube what will happen so in the pore tube we have the ddoxy adenine triphosphate so here we have modified adenine mm. so in this uh, pro in this tube uh, reaction will be occur like this to the g normal cytosine will be attached to the c normal guanine will be attached but to the t the modified adenine will be attached and further elongation will be stop and we will get the three nucleotides chain like this cg and modified adenine so the smallest uh, dna sequence will come more near to the positive terminal uh, as we know that uh, dna has negative charge and uh, this will be the negative terminal here we will here we will attach the negative terminal and here we will attach the positive terminal and we will apply the current uh, after this we will uh, run the uh, each tube separately in the gel electrophoresis so in the tube 2 we have the uh, smallest uh, uh, dna uh, chain which is consists of just one uh, nucleotide and that is c nucleotide so in, when we when we run the uh, tube 2 uh, on the gel electrophoresis so the single nucleotide c will come uh, uh, near to the positive terminal and it will produce a band here uh, in the front of position 1 and we know that uh, c is attached to the uh, g uh, so we will write here g now uh, the second uh, uh, smallest is the uh, cg sequence which is uh, on the tube 2 which is on the tube 1 so when we uh, run the tube 1 on the gel electrophoresis so uh, uh, the cg uh, sequence will uh, uh, come uh, near to the positive terminal and it will produce a band at position 2 and we know that uh, <coughs> g is attached to the uh, uh, cytosine so here we will write the cytosine C uh, now the next uh, smallest uh, sequence is the uh, CGA which is uh, in the uh, tube 4 so when we run the tube 4 uh, the uh, CGA sequence will uh, come downward and it will uh, produce a band at uh, position 3 and we know that A is attached to the thymine so we will write thymine here then the uh, uh, pore nucleotide uh, sequence is uh, in the tube 2 so when we run the tube 2 and the electrophoresis uh, so this sequence will uh, uh, produce a band in the front of position 4 so this is the position 4 and uh, here uh, a band will be uh, produced uh, and we know that uh, uh, cytosine is attached to the uh, uh, guanine so here we will write the g now the dna sequence which contain the pionucleotides is also in the uh, tube 2 so when we run the tube 2 there will be band uh, formation at uh, the position pio because uh, this dna sequence has pionucleotides and uh, we know that cytosine is the terminal nucleotide so cytosine is attached to the g and we will uh, write g in the front of pio like you can see here we will uh, write the g now uh, it, now in the tube uh, 3 we have the six nucleotide sequence so when we run the uh, tube 3 uh, here the band will be produced uh, at the uh, six position and we know that thymine is the terminal uh, nucleotides and, uh, and this is attached to the adenine so here we will write the a now the last dna sequence is consist of the uh, seven nucleotides and it is in the tube one so when we run the tube one uh, here we will also get the band at the position seven uh, and uh, at the position seven we know that g attached to the uh, c so here we will write the c now uh, you can see we get the uh, exact sequence of the desired dna strand compare this with uh, the actual uh, dna uh, sequence here also g here also g here is c so here is c here is t uh, here is t uh, double g and double g here is ac and here is ac so this was all about the uh, dna sequencing